Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a sand wing from Wings of Fire. Now, if you have any other dragons that you would like to, me to show you how to draw, definitely let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to give them a shot. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> now to start off with our sand wing, let's begin with the eye. So I'm gonna start right here. I'm just gonna begin by making a little line. It's just gonna curve up and down. And then I'm gonna make a little line. It's just gonna curve down and up. Then I'm gonna put a little dot in here for the pupil. Right above here, let's make a little curve line for the eyebrow. And then next we're gonna make the nose. So they have a shorter nose. So let's begin by drawing a line that curves up here. Then I'm gonna bring this line down here. I'm gonna curve this up and then down and then back up and over to here. Then I'm gonna make a long little line here for the nose. Next, we're going to make a little horn on there, so we're just going to go up and down. Next, I'm going to start right above here. We're going to leave some space, and I'm going to bring this line out to here. And then I'm going to connect, bring it out a little farther to a point, and then we're going to come back here. That'll be that horn. And I'll just curve this line right here. Next, I'm going to bring this line down, and then in, and then up. Now, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that comes down here for the mouth. I'm going to bring this down. We're going to come up here, and then in. Now, I'm going to curve this up for the jaw. I'm going to add some little sharp teeth in here. And then we're going to make the tongue. We're going to curve a line up here. Put a little fork on the tongue and then bring it back here. Starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come out. And then it's going to come back here for the ear. And we'll put a little curve on here. Now, starting right here, I'm going to bring this line over and then up. I'll add a couple little bumps on here. And then I'm going to bring this line down and into here. Now, for the back of the neck, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to come down. And I'm going to bring it right to about here. And then up here, there's almost like a fin on the back of the head. So I'm just going to bring a line that's just going to come up here. We're going to make it kind of pointy as it comes up and down. Make it a little bumpy, and then I'm going to bring it down to here. Next, let's work on the arms. So let's do the first one. We'll curve a line right to here. I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down here. Bring a line up and then down to a point, and then we're going to bring it back. We'll do another one out here a little bit bigger. We're just going to go up to a point and then bring it back. Next, I'm going to curve this line up here and then bring it in. And I'm actually just going to bring this line up to here. Then I'm going to bring this line over. Now, starting here, I'm going to make the body. So we're going to bring a line that's going to come up and then over. They have like a big chest and they're pretty skinny in the middle. Starting here, I'm going to bring this line down and then back to here. Then we're going to come this way at an angle. 
We'll make this line come to a point and then bring it back. We'll make another one curve up, come down to a point and bring it back. We'll bring this line up and we're going to curve it around here for a little claw. And then we're going to curve this all the way up to here. Now starting here, I'm going to bring this line out and I'm going to curve it down here and back to kind of form the tail. We're going to put a sharp point on the end and we're going to make it kind of round, very similar to like a scorpion tail. Next I'm going to bring this around and we're going to make it get bigger and bigger as it comes back up here. Now starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come up and then out to here to start the wing. We'll make a couple little curved lines here. And then I'm going to bring this line all the way up to here. We'll make a little point on the end for like a claw and then we're going to bring it back up. Next, as I bring this down, I'm going to put some little points on here. And it's just to kind of show a little bit of like a scaly pattern on the wings. And we'll stop it right about there. I'm going to bring this line all the way down to here. And we're going to put another little curve like claw on there. Very similar to what we did up here. Now I'm going to make this really skinny. And I'm going to keep this really close to the edge. And we'll bring it to here. We'll bring this part down and we'll curve it a little bit, leave some space, and then we're going to bring it right to about where this leg is. And then right here, we're going to make a little line that comes out and we're going to put a small little claw on the end and we're going to bring it back here. Right here, I'm going to bring this line over and then I'm going to go up like this. Then I'll bring another one. It's going to go over and I'm going to bring it up. And then I'm going to bring one that's going to curve right to here. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to curve this all the way down to this leg. And then I'm going to bring it over to here. Next, let's bring the back all the way up to here. Now I'm going to put the second wing in here. So I'm going to draw a line that's going to come up. A couple little curved lines. We're going to bring this up to here. We're going to make it pop out and put another one of those little claws up there. Then we're going to bring it down to here. Next, I'm going to bring this one down here to a point with the claw. And then we'll make these little lines that just kind of go over here for part of the wing. Now we have our basic shape of our sand wing. We just want to come in here and add some different details. So I'm going to make some little lines right around the eye here. And I'm going to make a couple more little lines kind of over here for some details. I'm going to run a line that's going to come down here all the way to here. And then I'm going to make some little V shapes on here that just kind of follow the pattern down here. Then I'm going to put some more up here, just some more kind of V shapes, just to kind of get some of that different little texture and everything on there. I'll put another one back here. We're going to put some claws onto our sand wing here. Put a little bump right there. We'll also do this claw here. And while we're at it, let's just go ahead and add all the claws onto the wings as well. 
I'm going to make some little lines right on here. And then I'm going to make some little kind of pointed texture lines coming down here just to show that there's some little bits of like pattern and like some armor and stuff on there. And then I'm going to make some of these little lines coming over here as well for a little bit of texture. I'm going to draw some little lines that are just going to kind of go down and then up. And these are just going to be kind of like a little bit of texture onto the legs here. And then I'm going to add some more kind of little points on here as well. We even put a couple here too, some little broken lines. I'm going to add some little lines on here. I'm also going to add another little horn over here too. I'm going to add some little lines onto like this fin that they have on the back here. And I'm actually going to make this come all the way down most of the tail too. We'll add some of those little lines on here. And then right on here I'm going to curve a line that comes all the way to here. And I'm going to make some of these big kind of like V-shapes almost, just to kind of show some texture on our sand wing. We're going to bring this all the way down and put a couple little curves here. I'm going to make a little long line down here and I'm going to add some more little lines coming up here for a little more texture. We can also add some quick little lines all along here too. And there you go, there is your drawing of a sand wing from Wings of Fire. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.